Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're in Moyoc, North Carolina, home to Academy's training facilities. Academy is the nation's top firearms training and security services companies out there. Now a lot of people that might be familiar or somewhat familiar with Academy may think that Academy only trains military law enforcement personnel and nothing could be further from the truth. They have a wide variety of civilian training courses that are available and that's something that we're here to check out today. So let's pop inside Academy and see what goes on here. Academy was founded in 1997 and was originally envisioned as a training facility to support various law enforcement and security personnel. Their capabilities quickly expanded when they received their first government contract in 2000. Academy has three training facilities in the United States, but their Moyoc, North Carolina campus is their flagship 7,000 acre adult playground filled with long ranges, short ranges, shoot houses, race tracks, off-road courses, mount facilities, shipboarding simulators, two airfields, three drop zones, a military style obstacle course, interactive Roger ranges, and 25 classrooms, and I probably left out a few things. However, Academy's greatest asset are the people they employ, including their instructors. Their instructors come from all walks of life. You'll find men and women with backgrounds in special forces, SEALs, Rangers, Marines, snipers, and law enforcement. Nowhere else will you find more operational experience in instructors than those employed by Academy, and it shows. We have an impressive training facility here. Uh, 7,000 acres, 45 plus ranges, uh, multiple live fire shoot houses, simunition houses. Uh, we have a lot to offer, but it's not always about the facility. It comes down to, we could have a great facility, but if you have lousy instructors, you're not going to walk away from here with anything. We have a great instructor staff that supports this place and makes it a top-notch training facility. What I found was that they offered a wide variety of courses that were custom tailored to students' needs. Civilians of all experience levels will find exactly what they need here. If you bought your first handgun recently and want to learn how to defend yourself or your home, Academy offers courses specifically for you. Are you more experienced and you want to learn dynamic room entry, long range shooting, and performance driving? They offer those courses custom tailored to you as well. I don't think I've ever seen a more comprehensive menu of training courses. No matter what someone's looking for, Academy can offer that to them. We have a lot of civilian classes, such as women's defense pistol, home defense, basic pistol courses, driving. Most people, when they get here, the thing that, that I tend to hear the most is that it, was, it wasn't what they thought of. It was a, it's a very relaxed environment. It's a very professional environment and very welcoming environment. Again, it's very diverse. We have, um, just in my division alone, probably over 200 years of experience, ranging from special operations to law enforcement to competition shooters, it's all blended together and comes in which gives the student a better, a better product. We'll teach the beginning handgunners here, the, the people who have never touched a carbine before or shotgun. We'll take them from a basic level to an intermediate level to an advanced level. Uh, and that won't occur in just one outing here. Don't feel shy about, I've never picked up a gun before, I don't want to go to a place like that. I'll be embarrassed. Well, that's not the case. Uh, we, we have beginners in classes all the time, never touched a gun before. We have customers come from all over the country that have been here time after time after time, and they've taken away from this place the knowledge and firearm skills that they need to protect themselves and their families. One of the most popular is home defense course. Now, home defense course doesn't teach firearms per se. You have to come here with the handling skills, with the marksmanship skills. What that course focuses around is protecting your family, your home, whether you're at home or you're away from home. Security, how to fortify your house and make it more secure. The tips for when you're out traveling and you're, you're out away from the house. Um, if you're at the mall and an active shooter event happens, what should you do? Whether you're armed or you're, you're unarmed at that point. We uh, cover a vast variety of topics in the classroom before we ever go out to the shoot house and practice the tactics of one person clearing your home. And we always say this is worst case scenario. Train for worst case scenario. Your best interest to let the police, let the professionals do it, but if it comes down to it, you have the skills to do this yourself. 
As I mentioned, the instructors at Academy are among the best you'll find anywhere in the world. I found that the ones I worked with during my stay were knowledgeable, personable, and outstanding communicators. While some might find working with men with so much operational experience intimidating, trust me when I say that you'll quickly find yourself at ease around them as they quickly get your focus on the training tasks at hand. My first course was with a former Marine named Russ. I consider myself to be fairly competent with a handgun, but in working with Russ, he taught me a few things that were both interesting and useful. One of the things I took away from my time with Russ was the way I charged my Glock 17 pistol. Most training companies will teach you to grab over the top of the slide and slingshot it. Russ showed me how the academy crew teaches charging the weapon and clearing malfunctions, and they use the pinch method. After explaining why they use this method versus the over the top grabbing method, it made perfect sense and I walked away with something new, or should I say old, to practice. After spending the morning working on handgun techniques, I moved over to rifles where I received instruction on everything from reloads and malfunction clearing to rapid target engagement. While our time was somewhat limited, I felt I learned an incredible amount of useful information in the short time we spent on the range. Where things got really interesting is in one of Academy's shoot houses. Shooting and practicing on a static square range is nothing like actually clearing real rooms with obstacles such as furniture and doorways. One of the shoot houses has two levels giving you the ability to navigate a staircase while practicing with live ammunition. After we finished up in the shoot house, we moved over to the Rogers Range. The range is named after its inventor, Bill Rogers, who is somewhat of a legend in the shooting community and is a former FBI agent. The Rogers Range presents a unique challenge in that the trainer can pick what target appears when and where on the range. The shooter is required to maintain cover and engage seemingly random appearing targets at varying ranges. My time on the Rogers range dovetailed perfectly with my experiences in the shoot house as they really complement each other. The Rogers range gets you used to the concept of shooting, taking cover, and moving to new cover as you take control of the room. Not too many training facilities that you go to have a mobile resupply station, and that's what this van is. It's an old bread truck. Inside they carry spare targets, spare holsters for people that are taking classes, magazine pouches, bullhorns, water, spray paint, everything that you would need. If you have a rifle like an AR-15 or an AK or a SCAR that goes down, they also have a mobile armory that carries spare parts for most of those types of firearms. It's actually pretty impressive. Not only does Academy have a mobile armory, but they also have a large static armory on campus that offers a wide variety of firearms, parts, and accessories for their students to take advantage of. You'll also find a fully stocked pro shop where you'll find everything from tactical clothing, holsters, belts, batteries, jackets, to red dot sights and magazines. You can of course find plenty of Academy branded swag in the pro shop too, so you can go home both looking and feeling like an operator. If you've watched the channel for the last few months, you'll know I've been bitten by the long range bug. While I'm not new to long range shooting, there are things such as reading the wind and spotting that I could definitely use some instruction on from a seasoned professional. Of course, Academy has some of the most comprehensive instruction long range shooting available. Not only that, they have some of the most impressive ranges I've seen, including a small town, which presents a number of tactical challenges, and a standard 1200 yard square range with electronic moving targets. Something that many people don't know is that in a two man shooting team, the spotter really has the most difficult job. He must read the wind, look for bullet trace to see where missed shots go, calculate holdovers, and give direction to the shooter. A good spotter makes all the difference in the world, and this is something that was really driven home by Malcolm, the Navy SEAL instructor I was working with at Academy. All right, so we're gonna move as fast as we can, okay? All right. Going from the far target, our eight minutes, our white car, then our station wagon head, okay? Okay. So keep that gun up and running, you take the shot. When you transition to the next target, cycle that action and get on that next target and then take the shot. Here we go. faster that is oh yeah definitely I learned something could be done that I had previously thought to be nearly impossible Tom our host said that we could hit a 1200 yard target with an 18 inch barreled 308 rifle using federal gold medal match 175 grain loads since I'd never shot at 1200 yards before my assumption was that the bullet would be transonic at such a range and thus wildly inaccurate Tom assured me that we would be able to hit the man sized steel ringer despite the 10 mile an hour gusting crosswinds Center. Got it. I heard it. it. We hit it. 
That was a hit. Sweet. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't place a bet on that because Tom was right. This exercise drove home the importance of having a skilled spotter guiding you. Malcolm quickly got me on steel at 1,200 yards with a DPMS SAS rifle, and I scored repeated hits while following his direction. Next, we headed over to the track where we met with two driving instructors and where I would be taken on the ride of my life. So tell me about these cars. I mean, what, what, what is unique about the type of driving that you do? And these cars look, look like just regular cars here. That's absolutely what they are. Just they're former police car. They're Crown Victorias. Uh, we buy them uh, because they're practical and they hold three students and an instructor. Uh, Porsche, Ferrari, et cetera. Outstanding cars, but what we've got is a four-door package that we can take a student out and, and drive the track and have a normal feel. It's not a race car. It doesn't have five-point harnesses or fuel cells, uh, things like that. Again, same thing that the students wouldn't have in their, their private-owned vehicles. So what type of people come out here and seek out this type of training? Um, the majority, well, it's a good cross-section of 18 to 80. Again, the majority of our students are 20 to 30 year olds, uh, but we do put on one course a month um, uh, as needed, uh, sometimes more, but at least once a month. We call it advanced highway safety. And the main thing that we're trying to get across there is car control. Uh, again, it's not all about going fast. We're not a racing school. Uh, it is certainly an adventure to be out here in one of our courses, but we're not trying to teach race tactics. Uh, it's about car control and where we start at is just the basics. And that's uh, steering wheel management. Again, how they're going to put their hands on the steering wheel. They're not jerking the wheel. We don't want to drive with the shoulders and throw the car all around. We want to be in control all the time. It's kind of like shooting. Uh, fast is fine, but accuracy is everything. So we want to right. learn how to control the car. Now, what types of driving do you offer? I've seen the big track out here, the flat track. You guys got some other stuff. Absolutely. Offer. Anything with wheels is what we drive. <laughs> all right. We've got four wheelers. We've got Humvees. We've got Jeep Cherokees. Uh, we've got armored vehicles. Depends on what the client would like to do and how long they'd like to do it. If they want to come out here for one day and just do ATVs, we do that. If they want to come out and drive the Crown Vicks for five or six days, that's fine also. Um, again, just depends on what they want and uh, how much time they've got uh, to do it. Well, outstanding. How about we jump in one of these cars and go hit the track? Sounds great. All right, let's do it. How many times you flip the cars out here, Max? All right, you want me in front what happens? One of the drills the instructors had me do was something they called the wake-up drill. They put me in the driver's seat and told me to let go of the steering wheel. The instructor sat in the passenger seat and steered the car. He told me to speed up or slow down, but mostly told me to speed up. When he yelled, wake up, I was to open my eyes, grab the wheel, and avoid the obstacle that was in my path. Yeah, you went right for the brake yeah. immediately. Yeah. Remember, there's nothing around here. <laughs> no, that's funny. So you don't have to go for the brake. Go to sleep, gas, come on, come on, come on. I'll be a control freak now. It's a good video, right? Wait up! See, right for the brake. I did, yeah. All right? All right, no worries. All right. <laughs> but I didn't stab it. Yeah. I slowed down, but. Go to sleep. All right. It's not always going to be that easy now. I know. I'll tell you, this was a very intense drill. The first few times I did exactly what they told me I would do, and that was to slam on the brakes the moment I opened my eyes. But this isn't what you're supposed to do. Eventually I was able to avoid hitting the brakes and I was able to steer the car around the close range obstacles. While the tactics they teach clearly have a benefit for police officers, they would also benefit most any driver, even outside of law enforcement circles. My time at Academy was entirely too short. A couple of days really isn't enough time to take in everything that they have to offer. What I can say with absolute certainty is that the training they offer is absolutely top notch. That coupled with their simply phenomenal training facilities and wide breadth of courses offered makes what they have to offer truly unique in the tactical training marketplace. If you're an experienced shooter or a novice hoping to find basic instruction on personal or home defense, Academy has exactly what you need. I'll be going back to take a full blown long range course and I also plan to take one of their off road courses. I'll be sure to bring a camera along. Be sure to check out the links in the description below to find more information on Academy. 
If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, please swing by our Facebook page and ask those questions there. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. Also, please be sure to check out our blog, thebangswitch.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody.